Hey, everybody. Um, can we all agree that the world is in chaos right now? <laughs> and we as parents are supposed to impart to our kids some sense of order. And we do that by telling them different rules to live their life by, even though we know in our minds that we have no idea what we're talking about. So what I say to my kids the last five years or so, one of my big things is, what is this Snapchat? What is this Instagram? It's so illusory. Write a letter. Take a pen and write it to a paper. Then the person has the letter. They have it in the shoebox. They can pull it out and read it. And the kids are like, Dad, not with a letter again. Really? And the reason for that is my own father. My own father was old school. He, uh, there was no participation trophies. Uh, he, I ran high school track. He never saw me run because he was working. He did know that I played a lot of basketball in the neighborhood, so he got, went to watch me one time. He watched for a couple minutes, sh shook his head, walked away. <laughs> that night he came up to me and goes, you play a lot of basketball. And I go, yeah, and he goes, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not, um, um, and I said, good? And he goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at a key moment in my life, he wrote me a letter. I was thinking of dropping out of school, and he wrote me a letter, which basically said, I've screwed up my life, don't screw up yours. So that meant something to me. So when I had my three kids, I said, well, I'm gonna go to all their events. So they all played soccer, Sammy, Brian, Jack. They all played soccer, went to the events, parents are screaming, yelling at the refs, going nuts. I never did that. I sat off to the side, had a book, I'd look up and go, oh, you scored a goal, good for you. I kept, kept my cool, I was very proud of myself. But then my youngest, Jack, ran track in high school, his first race, it was the mile, it was at Coatesville, I was 50 yards from the finish line. I'm in a suit. He came around the final turn, tied with another guy. The next thing I know, I'm just running alongside them. <laughs> On the infield, I'm knocking over people. Popcorn's flying. It's total chaos. Cokes are going up in the air. I'm running along going, go, 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 go. I ran through the finish line. He won. I'm screaming and yelling. And I didn't even know who I was. And my, his older brother, Brian, comes up to me and goes, what the hell was that? <laughs> you never did that for any of us. And he goes, is it because you ran track? And I go, yeah, yeah, that must be it. But I knew there was a different reason. Because I had a heart to heart with Jack after the race. I pull him over and go, hey, Jack, I have a little confession to make. We've pretty much spent all our money on Sammy and Brian to go to college. <laughs> there's, there's nothing in the bank. <laughs> So we need you to get a track scholarship. <laughs> He's just, he looks at me and he goes, is it okay if I do the cool down run, Dad? <laughs> just, just for a few minutes. So Jack eventually now, he's a freshman in Vermont on a track scholarship. So that's good, yeah. Woo, but before that, he had a big race where he didn't do well. Didn't do well at all. And he came out and he went to my wife and I, Mom, Dad, I did good, didn't I? My wife said, of course, son, you did wonderful. Me, I have my dad in me, and a little bit of Larry David. I went, <laughs> I went, eh. And when I did that, eh, his face crumbled. He just crumbled. So what could I do as a parent? I sat down and wrote him a letter. And I poured my soul into this letter. And I said, look, son, you know, I've always put so much pressure on you. I've treated you like the oldest of the family, not the youngest, the hope of the franchise. No matter what you do, <laughs> no matter what you do, I'll be proud of you. I gave him the letter, he read it, he teared up, we had a moment. Next day, Sammy and Brian came to me, and in their hand was a piece of paper. They said, what the hell is this? <laughs> He's the hope of the franchise? He's the oldest? I go, he showed that to you? <laughs> showed it to us, he's gonna put it on the internet. He's giving the copies to all his friends. <laughs> that little weasel. <laughs> so here's my point. Right now, I have two kids who are gonna both wind up on shrink couches. <laughs> and they're both gonna blame me in this freaking letter. <laughs> I have another kid who's gonna get beaten up at every family function. <laughs> so when we look at your parents as if they have some answer to you, we don't know anything. The world's a mess. And it's our fault, not yours. So Snapchat away, Instagram, and remember, leave no evidence behind. <laughs>